Hello, I'm Mr. Charlie, and welcome back to Physics A, Lesson 3, Kinematics 1, Constant Velocity. So, kinematics is the study of motion, and so today get excited because we're finally going to get into some real physics. You know, I got a physics being the interactive between matter and energy, and matter having some property called velocity or motion, and how we're going to talk about how to predict how far something moves based on how fast it moves. And I'll talk about some of the tricky, different, tricky, you know, differences between velocity and speed and displacement and distance. So physics is one of those things where we have a lot of words, like energy, work, force, velocity, speed, and displacement and distance that we talk about in everyday life all the time. We use these words to describe our life and our universe. But physics has very specific mathematical concept-wise definitions that you need to be familiar with if you want to succeed in physics. So we'll begin our study of physics with the branch called classical mechanics. Uh, it's also called, whoops, also called Newtonian mechanics after Isaac Newton, the guy who invented it. And in the 1600s, it describes relatively large and relatively slow moving objects. Large relative to, say, atoms, and slow relative to, say, rays of light or super fast alien spaceships. So it describes the relatively large and the slow, for example, cannons, airplanes, cars, you, me, everything that we pretty much deal with in our daily life. That's why we start with it first. It's the simplest theory of physics, and it also is the most applicable to our real life, because we experience things on the normal level. On, we don't experience life on the atomic level. We don't experience life in the realm of the super fast and the super massive things like black holes. So this is the most common one to use, and it's also the most interesting and applicable. Uh, and of course, that's also why it was discovered first, because Newton, you know, people began to ask questions about why things fell in parabolas, why the moon orbited the Earth, things like this. So these are the constant concepts we're going to be studying today in physics A. It's not today, but this entire class in physics A. Other types of physics, you know, as opposed to this, are things like relativity, which describes very fast objects like rays of light, as well as very massive objects like stars and black holes. So this operates in the regime where you get huge things, bigger than relatively large, and things that are moving very, very fast. Um, and so also we have quantum mechanics, which describes the strange, strange world of atomic and subatomic particles where probability rules and anything can happen. Things like teleportation, um, weird telecommunication, like spooky acts in a distance. Um, particles can be in multiple locations at once. Like you can only have certain locations, and you're so that, and that leads to teleportation. Again, really weird, really weird, weird stuff happens when you get down to the level of the atom and below. So quantum mechanics is also a really cool area of physics. But again, it doesn't describe our day to life. We're only concerned with large, slow objects. So like I said, we'll begin with Newtonian mechanics, uh, with kinematics, and kinematics is, if you know your Greek word roots, uh, matics means study of, like mathematics is the study of math, and kinematics is the study of motion, like kinetic, kinetic energy, you know, things like that. So kinetic matics is a study of motion, and, but it's not concerned with why motion happens. That's dynamics, and we'll talk about that in a few lessons. Uh, kinematics is just concerned with the qualities of motion, the three, three of them, displacement, uh, velocity, acceleration, and how they are related by time. How acceleration affects velocity, how velocity affects position or displacement, things like this. They don't care why things are moving. So in all these problems, we'll assume that the object has already been moved or is being moved by some mysterious force. Could be an engine, could be gravity. Could be me, could be God, could be anything. We don't care why it's moving, we just want to know that it is, it is moving and how its motion is going to be affected. All right, distance and displacement. So, this is 